I don't know if you guys are ready, but... Oh yeah, bitch! Hey guys, it's Sonia Elsie here, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a really good video. This has been requested by a few of you guys, but I'm going to be doing the how I used to do my makeup in high school tag, and I actually graduated high school a few months ago, so... I'm gonna be doing how I used to do my makeup freshman year. So um, yeah, I was really, really bad at makeup. So let's just get started. <laughs> so the very first thing that I used was any kind of crappy foundation that didn't really match my skin tone. I'm going to be using this one from LA Colors. It is liquid makeup and this is just, it's terrible. And I would never wash my face before I did my makeup. So, you know, you just got this fresh little like greasy glow. And I'm just gonna put a couple, a couple pumps of this. Oh yeah. And uh, just, just rub it around with my fingers. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so oily. And I didn't even really need foundation. Like my skin was not that bad. But um, just rub it around. What the actual fuck? This is so bad. Get it? Bonus points, like if it doesn't really match, like you have some streak marks, like it just doesn't really, doesn't really work. Also bonus points if it's the wrong color. And I would never like blend it in with my neck. So it was just like, I'm gonna zoom y'all in so you get a even better look. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Up close and personal, whoa, too much. So I would just kind of like, you know, really, really good. I would get so much of it on my hands and I would just, you know, wipe, wipe it off on my shirt. So uh, there you go, that is the foundation look. Um, just if you see any streak marks, kind of just blend them out, but not too much. You still, still kind of want them there. So next thing that I did, I didn't know about concealer, like I kind of knew about it, but all of the products I purchased with my parents' money, so I didn't want to ask them if I could buy a concealer. But um, this is actually an eyeshadow from the Wet n Wild palette. This is the same palette that I used to use. I would take this shade, that shade right there, and I would use that as concealer. This is a literal eyeshadow, by the way. So let's see, I need, need some concealer right there. Just gonna dab that on. No brushes or anything. Just gonna, just gonna dab it on. Oh, it looks, looks really good. And if it doesn't match, that's okay. That's that's how I did it, you know? So after you do your uh, concealer, I want to take a black eyeliner pencil. And this is my favorite because I actually used to do my eyeliner before my eyeshadow. So let's see if I can even recreate it to how bad it was. I would just kind of like, you know, go like this. I'm not even exaggerating. I would go like this. And I would just want to get a line, just any kind of, any kind of line, you know, something like that. Ooh, got a text. But I would just kind of want to do like a line. It doesn't matter if it's like thick or not, you know, even that, like the thicker the better, honestly. Like, you see, that's like pretty good, you know, a little bit of a wing. And then I would just do my underneath as well. And do it like really thick. Oh yeah. So it kind of looked like that. Really good. And you do the same for the other eye. Just want to rub that. And you can make a little wing if you want to. You don't have to. And you just want to go underneath. A little bit on the waterline, but not too much. Because I would run off. And you wouldn't want to ruin the look by having it, having it run off on you. Oh my god. How did anyone let me look like this? So, next thing that I did, you know, the, the eyeliner's obviously not perfect, it's a little bit uneven. So knowing this, I would take a very dark purple eyeshadow and just, just put it over, like, just kind of put it over the eyeliner so we're going to be using, oh, I didn't use brushes, by the way, on this either. So taking this, this shade right here from this Lancome palette, this might even be the same palette, I would just um, kind of go over it. 
And I thought this looked so cool. I thought that I was the shit, honestly. Like, damn girl. You're walking around with uh, this beautiful purple. This is actually a very, it is a very pretty purple, but I don't think it really, really was what freshman Sonia should have been wearing. I didn't do my eyebrows or anything, by the way. So I would just do it kind of over my eyeliner, just because I thought that it looked better. I wish that just anyone told me like how bad this looked because... So you have the eyeshadow look, but I used to also take this color and kind of put it on my inner corners because I saw that in like a beauty guru video. I was like, oh, that's like really cool. And just kind of, just kind of spread it out. Oh yeah. If you, if you mess up, like it's fun. It's just more of a accentuates a little more, you know, it's really, really cute, really, really good. Um, wow, my skin looks so greasy. Oh my god, I can't even believe I used to do this to myself. So after this, um, because my face was a little bit greasy, instead of using face powder, I would actually use bronzer because I wanted my face to look more tan for some reason. I did this for so long. Even if you watch my old videos and my face is randomly like super brown, that's what I did. So this is the Physician's Formula Bronzer. I'm just gonna take like just a lot of it. It doesn't really matter what amount. And just kind of pat it like just all around my face. Just all over until your face is just a different shade of, of color. Then that's when I would stop because I wanted to look tan, I wanted to look sun-kissed, I just wanted to look really good. Okay, so now I have that sun-kissed glow. Now I'm going to put on the lip color. And something else that I used to do that was really cool, I saw a beauty guru actually do this, was after I put on my lip color, I would use that as blush. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. Oh my god, the lipstick literally just broke off of the thing. Literally sums up my life in high school. In the arms of the angel. So I'm just gonna use the rest of that. Okay, if you get it kind of like uneven, kind of around your lips. Um, big lips wasn't really a big thing back then, but I remember just like some beauty gurus saying to overline your lips a little bit. I used to just do that with lipstick. And then I would take my fingers and put them just a little bit on there and then I would be like oh I'm just gonna use a little bit as blush like this is so cool and just like really drag it so that you like get wrinkles in the future you know ah uh, not too much though you want this to be a really like subtle look so I didn't do anything with my eyebrows but I did put lip gloss on over my lip color because I was obsessed with lip gloss for a little bit, at least freshman year. Um, really, really good. So we're just gonna put a lot of it. This is the e.l.f. one, by the way. I used to apply this all day during class, during lunch, at, right after I would eat, I would reapply my lip gloss. Oh yeah. And you can see like the line, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but at least in the mirror, you can see the line where the foundation like doesn't match my neck and it's just like, it's really good. Make sure you do an annoying smacking afterwards so that people know that you just, you just reapplied your lip gloss and you're looking good. <laughs> this is really cute. Then I would take just any mascara, I would always have a bunch of these Lancome ones because my mom like she just used to, she used to like get sample sizes from them and give them to me. So just put like a lot of that on. Just so much. And this is a little bit dried out, which was like the story of my life in high school. I didn't really want to purchase new ones. So I would just do this. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see, but literally the line from of my eyeliner doesn't even touch like my actual eye. Story of my life. And then, because I used to not fill in my eyebrows, I would actually take, I would take mascara and just go like this. Just like a little bit, you know? Cause it, I was like, this is like what you do. I think I saw beauty gurus using brow gel and I assumed that it was like mascara that they used and not like actual brow gel. Like, I didn't even know what brow gel was. 
So one last thing before I show you guys the final look. In my freshman year of high school, I used to wear glasses. I actually wear contacts all the time. So these are actually the glasses that I used to wear in high school. These right here. I don't know if you guys are ready, but... Oh yeah, bitch. So uh, this was how I looked freshman year of high school. I looked just so bad. These glasses, these glasses are crooked too. They've been through a lot, but I definitely thought that I knew a lot about makeup. I thought that I was really pretty. I'm, I'm taking these off. I can't, my eyes just like can't. But I was so dumbfounded as to why I didn't have a boyfriend. I did have like short term boyfriends, but Freshman year, I could never really get like a long-term boyfriend and I was really confused why. I don't know, like my makeup look might have scared them off. I'm not really sure, but anyways, this outfit, I'm gonna zoom y'all out. This was Stella's old merch when Stella first was like, she was like, she's been on YouTube for a while, but she was like taking it more seriously in high school. She made this merch, um, I bought it. And I used to wear it all the time. I also used to wear a variety of cross-country sweatshirts. And that was basically my whole entire outfit. Cross-country sweatshirts with leggings and Converse. That was the whole look. So hopefully you guys enjoyed um, just just one, one last look of me with the, these glasses. If any of you guys want to look how I looked my freshman year of high school, be sure to follow all these steps and you will get... No guys, you'll have a couple friends, you'll be in the unpopular group. It'll be really great. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I used to do my makeup in high school. Um, if you have any fun stories of makeup things you used to do in high school, leave a comment down below because those are always really funny to read. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave this video a like or dislike if you liked or disliked it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!